For those who love fragrances, I'm about to spill a little bit of fragrance tea. And if you've been around the industry for a while, this is no secret at all, but if you're beginning and you're starting to get interested in fragrances, uh, this might come as a shock, and here it is. Most of the fragrances that you like and enjoy from different brands were all made by the same people. So there are many ways to get a fragrance to the market. You can do it the harder way, which is the one I chose, and that is to become a perfumer and to create your formulas and then to uh, bottle them up. Thankfully, there are shortcuts, however, to do this for those who are just not interested in formulation. You can actually buy your formulas from different people. You can for sure hire a perfumer to create your formulation. And obviously, you can go from hiring a small perfumer to hiring a big company. Because obviously, there are large companies that do this. And here are the top five that actually are responsible for most of the perfumes that you see on the market. And I like to call this the big five because they are probably responsible for, um, I mean, this is no way scientific, but like 97% of all the popular scents and flavors that are out there in the market. So at the top, you have Firminish, which is probably the biggest one of all of them. The next one after that is a Swiss company called Givaudan. You probably heard of that one. Next on the list is IFF, which stands for International Fragrance and uh, international flavors and fragrances, followed by Simrise, which is a German company, and the last of the five is Ta Takasago, which is a Japanese company. So together, they are probably responsible for most of the fragrances that you like and enjoy. And to be clear, there's nothing wrong with all of the fragrances that come out of these giants. These are professional fragrances um, that are created with a high level of professionalism. So just be aware, next time you're smelling one of your favorite fragrances, am I really smelling a Gucci fragrance or am I smelling a Firminish fragrance? And also keep in mind that even if a brand presents itself as independent looking, it doesn't mean that they haven't gone through these uh, big corporate processes to create their products. And again, I don't think there's anything wrong with buying a great formula from one of these big houses. I, however, think that it's important to make the difference between what a true independent artist does versus a perfume editor that buys formulas from larger companies. Very, very different artistic approaches and processes. So with that in mind, I'm curious to know what are your favorite true independent fragrance houses. Please tag them below and let's give them their well-deserved moment.